target UGC net December 2024. Is there any chance to held the exam in December? Yes, 100% chance is there. Although there was the problem in the June batch, there was August in the exam happened, just now result release, but December exam will be on time. Be ready for that. Don't think that it will be delayed and something. When expected date, I will tell you December 15th. With this target, go ahead. Then only your exam will be good. If you are thinking any other, if you are following any other, it's your choice. I am telling you the total plan, plan for the December target. How to go ahead, how to do, what to do, what not to do. Try to listen to me properly. Any unrealistic thing I am not going to tell you. Whatever realistic I will suggest you that. Watch the full video. I need your patience. So whenever I am uh, telling you something. Whenever it's required for you. Planning is required. Strategy is required. Then you have to watch the complete video. Only one minute it is not possible. So watch complete video here. See that. Here what it is. First of all. It is the month of October is ending, November started. So only one month. Now November, December. Very soon we hope maybe by the end of October also before Diwali or some any time you can get the notification. Uh, why I am telling you? Because in the month, in the 2023 also there was exam on March. After that in month of April they released the date. And they released the result and after that in the month of June again exam, they conducted the exam, right. So, this December exam, those who will be able to crack, those who are preparing well from a last, means maybe those who missed it for few marks in the month of August. Or those who are started preparation, the August they attempted for, uh, just for trial, Means almost their syllabus, at least 50 to 60 percent of the syllabus covered. And now it's the time to cover the remaining topic and to do the preparation. That is practice and mock test. Now you have to, there is an uncertainty, definitely uncertainty is there. It may be happen, it may not be happen. So when the uncertainty is there, how to go ahead? First of all, be strong in your strong area. Make a list that yes, whatever topic you have already learned, whatever topic is your strong area. Divide your time into two slots. One is for revision and practice. Another is for new topic. So from now only, start practicing of PYQS, expected MCQ and attempting mock test of those topic whatever you already covered. By attempting those mock tests and practicing those questions, you will be understand wherever you are getting stuck, wherever you need to improve more. And another time, maybe full day, if you are uh, getting time, three hours time, then I will suggest you one and half hours, do it for your practice and revision and another one and half hours, try to do it for your learning, means for learning new topic. There is also, whenever you are learning the new topic, you have to go as per priority. That set the priority, what are the topics are most important topic, from where questions are coming more. You have to go, we have to follow this philosophy. Otherwise, before exam, you will be not able to cover. Because there is uncertainty. December exam can be, maybe, may not be happen. Then how to handle? This is the way only a we can handle. We will practice, we will revise regularly, we will learn new topic also like priority wise. Where high priority you need, high priority topic. I should go for unit wise or topic wise. I can suggest you, yes, if total one unit is remaining, then unit wise also if you are going, then also divide like that in each and every unit, wherever the most important area, first cover those most important area. After that, after covering one, one time, means there are 10 units. Each and every unit, there are 60% of the syllabus from where most of the coming questions are coming, like 80 to 90% of the questions are coming from 60% of the syllabus. So in each and every unit, you have to focus on those areas. 
first cover those area then after that if you are getting extra time means if by chance exam is delayed or something you have extra time then go for again the second round learning that is those topic whatever you did not learn but side by side definitely do your revision practice and attempting mock test regularly because whatever previously you learn if you are not doing revision then it is not possible like this way if you are going ahead then only you will be able to crack the upcoming exam very quickly within this short time otherwise and because of this uncertainty also you have to handle this uncertainty in this way now if you need help from me for computer science and for paper 1 unified study is taking class as you know computer science i am priyanka chatterjee i am taking paper 1 thulasi ma'am is taking and not only me with me whenever requirement is there i am trying to add some special educators also as per your requirement already shoman sir is there with me who is my guru he is taking class for the maths uh, particularly maths area or some little bit high area where it is required support we are taking support from the sir if required maybe i can add some more educators also as per your requirement so complete course is there in our unify study app and website where we are doing like this we are following this strategy always because our strategy is less is more in less time how to cover more syllabus how to cover your preparation and how to achieve this already in our success you saw that 145 assistant professor 145 plus actually lots of student did not able to submit the form but out of this 145 most of them those who are paid learners they feel that so that's why 145 plus assistant professor 13 plus jrf and more than 100 phd's are there so definitely those who crack this time phd 90% chances they are they are going to get good result in the next attempt so you have to compete with them because definitely they are going to attempt this next exam and their preparation is almost done their concept is clear their practice is done they are very close to the cut off means they are getting very good result but after that by chance they miss it so definitely those people are going to attempt the exam and definitely cut off will be high you can't expect cut off will be low so don't run for cut off run for that how your 100% you have to put and you have to understand the reality competition will increase those who get only phd third category they will give their 200% to get the jrf this time so definitely you have to compete with them and now if you are asking me new batch new batch new batch new batch is not possible because it is unrealistic thing every month if we are launching new batch new batch then when syllabus will be covered it is not possible if you are trying if you are starting your preparation late then you have to cope up with that how our course is going on there is complete course one course one single course is there that is complete course of computer science another single course is there complete course of paper one what is there in that course in that course already previous classes previous recorded are there and with that live class is also going on we have created folder wise whatever folder was done in june batch those all the complete courses there whatever we have covered in the august crash course those all complete classes recordings are there practice course recordings are already there and now the december target batch is going on that is a different folder where we are running the live classes for the december mock test is also there separately test series are also there separately now whenever you are joining according to this current ongoing batch only you have to go you have to watch recording you have to watch the pending recorded classes you have to join live classes you have to attempt mock test you are doing delay that is not a problem uh, means it is a problem your problem those who are doing preparation from a long time we have to focus on that we have to focus like this way only because in the month of june we have started the batch and definitely we are not going to start any new batch 
before December exam, there will be no new batch. Side by side, our preparation was going on. August exam preparation was going on and June from the June only we have started the December preparation because it is ultimate fact. If you are thinking that within one month, two month preparation, I will crack it. Impossible. Syllabus is huge. Question pattern is different. Your uh, uh, competition is increasing day by day. So for cracking this UGC net exam, if you are asking me that exactly minimum time required for preparation to get a good score one year minimum one year time is required if you are not a ongoing student if you are starting from beginning then minimum one year time is required it is the fact if you are giving your total effort full effort then maybe you will be able to cover in six months but 90 percent students are not able to reach to the cutoff in six months because because there is huge syllabus those who are starting from beginning to understand the syllabus to understand the how to go ahead how to proceed to grab these all the concept after that doing practice after that memorizing all these things doing speed up of the question solving this is required time it is the fact you need to understand concept after that you have to absorb it you have to digest it then you have to go for practice pyqs and uh, mock test and all initially you will be not able to solve day by day by practicing you will be adopt that yes how to practice after that there will be time management problem initially you will be not able to solve quickly one question will take two minute three minute five minute time by practicing multiple time you will be able to cut down it in 30 second 40 second time then only in exam hall you will be able to perform well because cutoff is not like 150 160 cutoff is more than 200 and as a computer science educator i will suggest you your target should be 250 out of 300 if you want to get in if you want to pass this exam with a high score with jrf then your target should be 250 out of 300 for december 2024 exam if you are not preparing like that, then it will be next to impossible to reach to the cutoff because cutoff will be more high, I am telling you again and again, definitely. And for that, you have to balance paper 1, paper 2 together. If you are thinking that paper 1, I will learn, paper 2, I will not learn. Paper 2, I will learn, paper 1, not, no. Paper 1, 100 marks, paper 2, 200 marks. Out of 300 Total marks will be calculated according to that only you will be able to reach to cut off. So daily you have to learn paper 1, you have to learn paper 2. Paper 1 question pattern is also changing. Paper 1 also they are making difficult question day by day. Paper 2 also. So you have to balance both. You have to start your preparation in both area. If you are doing preparation in both area properly, then only you will be able to crack. Otherwise, just it is not possible realistic thing i am telling that's why so many people don't like me those who are telling unrealistic thing 15 month mein ho 15 days mein ho jayega 10 days mein ho jayega 20 days mein ho jayega aur cut off zyada nahi jayega ye hoga wo hoga because people wants to listen to them those who whatever your choice it is you like to learn you like to listen आपका जो अच्छा लगता है वो ही सुनने में अच्छा लगता है जो नहीं अच्छा लगता है जो ट्रूथ है रियलिस्टिक है वो सुनने में अच्छा नहीं लगता है बट आई एम टेलिंग यू वन थिंग दोज हु आर फॉलोइंग माई स्ट्रैटेजी दोज हु फॉलो दिस चैनल दोज हु फॉलो प्रियंका मैम दोज हु फॉलो यूनिफाइ स्टडी दे आर गेटिंग सक्सेस दैट्स वाई वन फोर्टी फाइव असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर थर्टीन जे आर एफ मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर कंप्यूटर साइंस only 22 is their other subject other than that everyone from computer science that's why i am giving you challenge if you are doing with us definitely success is yours it is your choice thank you bye